how is everybody doing? We're so excited to be here again with all of you. We've got a really great day plan. Thanks to share with you. Um, I'm going to kick it off with what's new, and then we're going to do some demos on some deco foil, some party supplies, and we even have a giveaway. Yeah, so make sure you stick around and find out how you can enter that giveaway. But first, I'll start with some things that are new. Yeah, it's kind of a normal week. There's not a whole lot much going on that's like brand new, but see, we are coming off our crazy week at CHA and just kind of coming back into the swing of things and making sure we're all good to go for 2016. But we do have some brand new products on Blitzy today that I wanted to do a little we did not link those right below, but if you go to the main homepage on Blitzy, um, you can click on Shop All Events and all the new stuff will be there. But the two that I wanted to call out were the new Cardabella Baby Lines. I wanted to call it out because it's brand new. And there's a boy line and a girl line. And I thought it would be perfect for both of them. boy and a girl. Yeah, so the boy line is really cute. It has like greens, blues, and yellows. And then the pink line also has pinks and yellows. So very cute. You can match them together. Very cute. So that's brand new, Cardabella. And then also we have, what are they calling it? The new We Are Memory Keepers goodie bag guide to almost awesome. So, you know, we love those punch boards, which we actually have a bunch of those on sale today as well. But this new goodie bag tool, it actually lets you just kind of place along it and rip to make goodie bags for any sort of party. So, Valentine's Day, birthday parties, any sort of treats that you want to get out. So, make sure you guys check that out. Brand new from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm sure you're going to love it. Before we go into Double Boil, Let's check in with Emily, who's made in the chat, and see who's here today. Hey, guys. A lot of people were actually here pretty early today before we got the broadcast kicked off. I think um, some people might have some snow days. Um, it's pretty cold here in the Chicago and area. People are trying to stay inside and stay warm. So what better way to stay warm than to hang out with us, learn about some great classifies, and also enter to win a giveaway. So, everybody's really excited to be here today, and we'll be giving you more info about how to win the giveaway. We are in the broadcast. It's not the usual interaction, which please don't have to chat. It's not the usual interaction with chat. It's going to be a little different this time. Please tell me how beautiful I look today. Please comment on my video. Please comment on my video. Please comment on my video. So please let them come my way. Exactly. So the video is going to love because it will be kind of your choice. So make sure you stick around to the end and we'll give you all the details on that. But first, before we even go into the demo, we did something really cool at CHA. We did a video all about happy crafting. And, Megan, can you tell us a little bit about happy crafting like, here at Flipsy? I mean, obviously, every day for me is happy crafting. So, like, to come in every day and play with products like the Deco Foil and Be Your Memory Keepers and be able to have fun while I inspire others. And I know a lot of people, when it comes to happy crafting, it kind of varies on their take on it, but that's kind of my take on it. come in every day and basically do what I love, which makes me happy, which is crafting. And I love that. It's kind of a, a slogan that we have kind of tried to embody here at Blitzy and we put out into everything that we do. So our email signatures, I'll say happy crafting. Our videos hopefully portray happy crafting to all of you with the happy music and the, the bright colors on our website and all of us is doing what we love. So I think happy crafting means something different to everybody. So be thinking about what that means to you. And while we were at CHA, we had so many creative people in one room, so we decided to ask a lot of them, what is happy crafting to you? And we did a video on it. So we wanted to show that to you guys. Take a look. Happy crafting to me is making a fun pop-up card. Messy crafting is my happy crafting. Messy I am. The happy I am. Inky fingers, painty fingers, and I'm a happy woman. My happy crafting is when I'm crafting for myself and for my family because my job is crafting. So when I get to make something that's just for me that I don't have to write the instructions for and I'm not posting it to my blog, that is my happy crafting. My happy crafting, I would say, would be my, uh, my eye and my visual outlook and all the options I get to express myself, whether it's with paints, markers, pens, 
Um, I have the variety and I have the freedom to express myself with um, all the mediums I can put my hands on. Happy crafting to me is crafting with my friends and family. I love to share what I know and I love to see them light up when they've learned something and they can do it again and again. My true story is that every single night at about for me 10.35 when Jimmy Fallon comes on, it's kind of when I sit in my bed and I enter my day into my planner. I contemplate what I've done that day. I like to really give myself credit for everything that I did. And I like to set some goals for the next day. And writing in my planner is my happy crafting. Happy crafting is me by myself on a Sunday morning with a cup of coffee, all my photos printed out from the week. And I think about like when I'm a grandma and I want to show my kids um, kind of what I did on a regular week with coffee in hand. That's my happy crafting. <laughs> happy crafting to me is living a fulfilled life with your friends and family and documenting those happy moments that mean the most to you. Happy, happy crafting, crafting to us is Blitzy. Quite a lot of 
she just added the wrong guy, and she was the first, but I was trying to check it to add one of the stars. So look at that, and you can see that. You can see kind of the so real easy. We don't need any really special tools or anything. No, you just use your dot cut so you're like, oh, and you're fine. And you can see here, even the negative is free. You can even cut that out and add that, you know, on top of a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. It's like, what well, is nothing, right? So, um, as far as the cost goes, same thing, you're going to take your piece of here. And you're going to just put the cost to your cost. You can take a punch and you're going to punch. I don't know, unless if you're you're just going to put your phone in there and you're just going to punch. Put your heart come out there. And if you guys remove the sticky bag piece, add it to your folder and remove the top sticky piece, exposing the adhesive. This is too easy. Too easy. And I love the dimension that you're getting for the time. And then we'll take our foil again here and just place it on top. Put a nice little rub there, put some on it, and then remove it and then blah, blah, blah. You have that really pretty shimmer. So easy. Once again, this is the card that Patty and I are here using the foam and the dye pot. Along with her hand punch. I love it. And we hope there are so many different colors of the foil as well. We've mm -hmm. linked the ones that I've been showing below, but if you go to Glitzy, just like the regular search, you'll be able to find all the colors. There's a rainbow one, which is really cool, mm -hmm. or multiple colors in one. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. they also have different um, adhesives. So, there's also a liquid adhesive, which is really cool. It kind of has, um, if you use it, it's like, you know, you can kind of analyze with it. Almost like a, I think it's like a dimensional paint. Oh, yes. Yeah. And you just squirt it out, draw whatever you want. It will give that kind of raised dimension. Same thing, you let it dry. You put your phone back, use your finger to burn it, peel it off, oil stick. And you can use that bag too, which is really cool. Um, if you want, you can squirt some of the pieces out. Oh, yeah. And you can have it and you can watch it. So, Oh, very cool. And we actually did a video at CHA last year, which was our top video from CHA last year, it was the different ways to use the deco foil. So Emily's going to actually find that video and put a link to it in the chat if she hasn't already. And you guys can check that out at a later time. But those are all the ways you can use the deco foil. And I'm going to show us a couple. Yeah. But there's a lot of different things you can do. I love that liquid adhesive. Mm -hmm. so you can write your name and just put foil over there, yeah. pull it up, and you foil it. So there's a like you can like a card or yes. Yeah, I mean there's so many things I know. Um, like please that the video that we did last year, so you can show a lot of the projects. And I know even Dad from Alash has a blog where they have a ton of ideas um and how you can use their pieces along with the foils and stuff. Awesome. Yeah. And you'll just keep coming out with more, so stay tuned because they're kind of coming and building some peaks. It's better than our last slide. So let's check in with Emily first and see if we got any healthy crafty answers and what people are thinking of the deco craft, the deco foil. We got a lot of happy crafty answers. People are sharing what happy crafty means to them. Um, Lord Lisa, said, happy crafty for me is also a look of surprise and or amazement when I get, when I get a hand crafted gift. Maggie B said, we all crafting is happy crafting, which I don't really agree with. Yes, girl says, happy crafting is any crafting being in a space of, of my all with my happy face around me and my favorite music playing. Um, so, a lot of great answers that we've seen from you so far. Um, you're going to have like, another chance to share those answers and possibly win a $50 gift card to shop at Flipsy. Um, on to the deco foil and some questions. Um, which foam was it that you were using? And then does it stick to just like any glue or any kind of use? Can you go over the adhesives again? So what I was using was deco foil adhesive, I'm sorry, foam adhesive. So this is double sided adhesive, essentially around like a piece of foam. So you don't need any adhesive, this already has the adhesive built in. And you just peel the back off and start with the paper and then peel the top and the other pull the top. Peel the top. Um, liner off, exposing that adhesive, and then you put your foil, which is how it actually sticks. So, you, all you need for a project like this is just the foam adhesive and the foil. And I don't see it on our sheet. I'm not sure if that is linked below or not, but if it's not, 
you can just search a pop on the website for the the search for the foil and everything will come up that you have. So these are the all have cohesive foam sheets. Do you think they're the same on both sides of that, uh, or is there a different side you need to stick your foil on? No, they're exactly the same. But that was a good question. Can you use, like, any double-sided adhesive for that the same way, do you know? Or do you need special, do you need, do you need like, to work with the foil? Like, technically, if you wanted to stick it, you could do it, too. Well, that's a good question. That's actually a very good question. Do you stick to anything? You know, I don't know. 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 I mean, I know a lot of times when these products come out, um, they kind of clear them. So, you know, it was what happens with the best of their products. Um, however, you know, there are products that you can use with other, other products outside of different brands. But you can definitely try that. Um, I don't see why not, but... Maybe their their adhesive is you know better to react with whatever the the backing of that product. I don't know, but we can certainly check it out for you guys because you know we like these things. So we can check it out with them before the package gets here. Um, this application obviously didn't take any heat. It was just a pressure application. Did it use double foils work with the heat? Because it's just it's a heat manager. That's just what we need for some of the applications, So, there are some adhesives. Um, I know the, um, well, one of the products that's actually coming out, or came out this year, that we haven't released yet, um, you use a laminator, and I think there's another, another one that just you run through the laminator. Once again, I would think it would work with your mink. Well, I have actually used the double foil in the mink, and I will say, I didn't get as good of a result. Okay. So, I know... That I just thought recommends using her foil with the mink, and I did have a better result with hers going through the mink. But it did work, so maybe mine wasn't hot enough. I don't know, I could do more testing, but yeah, like you said, they always pair their things out and best together and yeah. know what's made out of the materials and what's going to react the best to get the best results. So it's worth a try. Um, so yeah, I know that there are some, and I don't know if it's my head, but I know um, that there are some of the adhesives. That you can allow I think they use that do require a natural laminator. Yeah. And maybe there's someone on the chat as well yeah. who's done a little bit more testing too that can read and um, feel free to ask. I'm just wondering if you've actually used your little foil and then you know, Yes. Anything else? I don't think it would work. Someone asked if you could use the foil with the fuse tool, but I don't think that that's what I'm going to do. I think it's more for the plastic. It's going to be a lot of to melt, and the foil is not going to be a lot of to melt. It'll just, you know, right through. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're not going to feel like you're going to add like little things to your foil. It won't actually feel like it. All right, cool. Okay, so I think we can move to some of the We Are Memory Keepers DIY collection, which is party, party, party. We're going to have everywhere at CHA. It's continuing on again from last year. Lots of ways to DIY your own party. And so maybe we're going to talk a little bit about this collection that we have available today. So first up here, I have the Fringe and Scoreboard. And I don't have any examples of that because I just ordered these like what the week before that for CHA. So my goal is to get some videos out showing how these actually work. But I don't have them done yet, but I would probably I would at least show you guys the products and talk a little bit about it. So this place that is the trim, I'm sorry, the trims and scoreboard. So you have these little kind of I don't know, little handles here. And one is actually a scoring tool. So if you open it, you can see there's lines in there. And you can actually score which pairs perfectly with the rosette punch. You can check your paper, you can score it, and then you actually run it through this rosette punch, which as you guys can see here, does design a little bit of each other. And it will add that kind of scalpy fringe to the end of your paper, and then you do your personal kind of fold, 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 glue it together, and it forms a circle rosette. So these two pair beautifully together. And then the other other thing you know here is, is a natural cutting tool. So you open it up, you lay in your tissue paper, and you it will cut those perfect strips of fringe to make the tassels of our nose a huge hit in the party world. I mean, we, we, we just did a little kind of baby shower series and we put our tassels. I don't think tassels are going anywhere, and this will allow you to quickly and easily make your own without having to cut 
every single trip. Awesome. It's an awesome tool, you guys. Stay tuned for more to come on these guys, because like Megan said, we just got it in our hands, so we'll be doing some videos to show you even more how yeah. it. We wanted to get it on your radar in case you got some to make, I don't know that to make this right. really awesome. And one more thing to point out is you can make your friends on a small half inch or a big half inch. So this guy is really cool. Um, also, I just want to add that it's up on the site today. We are Member Keepers makes their own pom pom makers. And you know, here at Blitzy, we are huge fans of the pom pom makers. Always use the pom pom dash. You guys have no idea. <laughs> Seriously, it's like. You can you can make both. You can you can make little or gnome ornaments during the holidays. You can use it to top a tie if you're a knitter. You can you know make garland out out of it. So so many things you can do with pom makers. And as I mentioned, we did a series on um, baby stuff. And our theme was baby toys. So we use it to make these little kind of snowballs, which we use as kind of like little action pieces to a summer tree. So you can even incorporate them into your parties and stuff like that. Summer pieces. So. How fun are these? And then any color that you want to do, so no matter what your theme is, you can yeah. just drop them on the table for a little extra effort. I really like the flower was like, oh my god, how did you do those? And I'm like, so easy. It's so easy. Yeah. yeah. And I know yesterday, even dogs like, <laughs> 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 now I can even walk into the door with my mom like, hi. Oh, yeah. So she even got to take care of you a little while here. So what I love about these, I know we've done videos, that's what love them too. Yeah, see, all the other stuff is. But um, we've, we've done videos with these before and people commented like, wow, you just use like carbon. Totally can do it. You can just make it so easy and you get the perfect time every time. So I mean, the inside, the exactly. size, they, they're, they're consistent, they're cute, it makes it very easy. Kind of, you know, takes the guesswork out of how I'm going to share the plan. So loving these when we have the keepers. Another one of the party accessory, which we saw in like one of the videos, they have these honeycomb papers. And I'm going to try and show you the little camera here. Do you see? It looks like it's just tissue paper, right? Oh, excuse me. It's like, come on, but. Which is really cool. I didn't see this. It's so cool. Yeah, so it comes like this. And what's great is that there's also, because we are going to keep this everything. There's also templates that you can get. If you have link those, if you want to make a circle of cut honeycomb ball, you just place the template on the thing here, you follow along the pilot, and then you open it up and you can connect on this and see here to make your own little honeycomb ball. And you can hang those, put in there, use those on your table. Yeah, make them in different sizes. Mm -hmm. um, I know we are memory keepers, they have kind of like an intricate, um, or, uh, I don't even know what the shape is, but it's a little more fancy. Out of it. And then have one of those like, triangular, it's going to be different shapes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this cut comes with this really pretty, um, kind of, it goes through a lighter, a sky blue. 2016 is going to be the year of the party, I think. Pinterest kind of made doing your own parties cool again, because you see all these ideas on the other and you're like, oh, I have to do that. And the fancy for every penny that you do, you have to add a little So now they're making it really easy with all these tools. So yeah, so if you just see these on the site, you're like, oh, it's just such a paper, and you know it's so much more. And they come in these great kind of ombre sets. We have pink, blue, pink, and yellow, orange, and blue. So super fun. Once again, stay tuned. I will do a video showing how to use these. Um, by the time this was out, playing with the video, I'm like, all right, show this. Thing. These are really fun, and then one are we doing the garland? Yeah. So one last one. This is actually, this is actually going to be a full demo on how to do a garland up next. So I haven't seen the results of this yet either. I just like, what are you going to make? So I decided to see how this turns out as well. All right. So another awesome um, tool in the party section, the DIY party section of the app, um, is this garland part. Is this what you use for the shower? No. Oh. But, no. I just saw what it looked like on here, and I was like, hey, why don't you kind of look to see that looks like links? But the, when you guys see this, and I'm like, oh, it looks like it's links, but they're uh, like, actually, like, yeah, it's not. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm going to go with the yeah. tree right now, right? I'm going to go for the Valentine's Day thing because it's you know, an aspect of color here. So all you do is take your punch here, slide the paper in, you know. Like you normally do, so easy. Put it down, and you're going to get a bunch of paper. So I'm just going to punch it up a little more. 
Good evening. You guys haven't been seeing it. It has this little, these little divots in here. So let's see how that works. Come on, let's do this work. So you can take different colors. You can take different colors. I did a little shot in the palette here. I'm going to walk with the pink. And then we'll just do a solid pink. Just kind of everything together. So I'm left with my three little pieces here, right? And I'm like, how are these going to come together? So the thing I did, it has these kind of little matches. All you do is take a kind of loose match here, you slide it on the side, and then it goes in that hole. Oh, and that's done. Do you see how it's going to be here? See, all you need to do is you your paper and your pencil, the glue or anything, string, nothing. Something. You just go on the end here, you stick it in, and then you take that little piece. It goes in the hole, and then you have your little ring. And I'll show you a large one that I've done. Wow! So easy! So easy! Look at that, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, the ring pulled together. You can do different types of ring. Now, I'm going to keep it to like, this one is like, it's the venom. Makes him a little bit gush over them, but they're they're cool. It's just seriously, it's amazing. All the things that they do, that, right? So love, love, love the Garland times. Um, like I said, you don't even need a piece of old string and for another paper you want, another way to handle pretty papers that we are all hoarding because we don't know what to do with them, but they're pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, this one is a really fun one and a really easy one to do. Um, to add to next time. I love it. Thanks yeah. for sharing. All right, let's check in again with Emily and see what's happening over on the chat. Everyone is loving the um, the theater that's the garlic is so cute. It's just like so innovative. I don't think anybody was expecting it to come together that way, which I know we love being able to show them stuff that they could just look at on their screen and on their website and be like, what is that? I don't really understand that. But then being able to show them how it comes together is great. Um, a lot of people were asking if we were going to demo the Hong Kong maker. I did include, we just did a recent Valentine's Day video that kind of shows you how to use it. It's pretty simple. It's just kind of a wrap, 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 flip it over, wrap, 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 cut. It's really easy, but there is a video that I have linked so that you can see how to put it all together. Yeah, we have other videos too that you've done. Um, incorporating the um, extra compliments. And I think I did one maybe last year or a couple of years that I can remember, but it's a little more in depth as far as the actual stuff. So I know some of our kids kind of rush through it because we've done so many of the topics and at this point people know or they've yeah. done the videos. So I can find that one and give it to Emily and she can post it like one more time. Yeah. And you can also mm -hmm. search on YouTube yeah. channel for it. I think that one was the Clover compound maker, but yeah. it, it works the same, mm -hmm. so I want to do the same step. I think it may have been a bookmark, like a common bookmark. So you search that on in our YouTube channel. I'm going to with the Finder or actual channel, and if you search it in our channel, type in compound bookmark, it should show up. And that one, I think I actually show it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I saw all the stuff you can easily see. And I think I even have a blog post, too, where I take pictures of each step. That you can see. Right. 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 We did do it live here as well. So sometimes we're hesitant, like, oh, we've already done that live, but I know people don't catch every episode. So we might start reincorporating demos that we've already done just for perspective for people or for people who are just learning about live with the So um, we'll bring that one up for you guys as well. Yeah. So, so much, so much, two things you can do to come in. I know. Okay, so that brings us to what, if you're still here, you might have been waiting for, mm -hmm. is the giveaway. And what we're giving away is $50 to spend on whatever you want at Blitzy.com, which you can get a lot for $50 at Blitzy. And the way that you're going to enter, this is going to go back to that happy question question that we asked before. We want to hear from you on our social media, what happy crafting is to you. So you have three ways to enter. You can go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash blitzycrafts, and get a post on our page saying what happy crafting is to you. You can find that video on our YouTube channel. Subscribe and put a message on that video. The same thing. You can copy and paste the same answer. And then you can also tweet it to us. So there's three ways to enter. Each way that you enter counts as 
can be three. So three chances. You can do one. You can do two. You can do three. Whatever you want. And then you have until 11:59 p.m. tomorrow night, Wednesday night. And Thursday, by the fifty, we will announce the winner and put fifty dollars in your account immediately, so you can get whatever you want. So Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, I cannot speak to it. Facebook, follow me, guys. Or find the happy posting video on YouTube and put a comment there. And we'll be watching all of that. And we, we just really want to know your answers because we know that we're passionate about it. We have a different video. You saw everyone that we spoke to had a different answer for what the happy posting is. So, yeah, if you're the case, I'm curious. What does it mean to you? And it might change over time. Like, happy posting at some point might be when your kids go to sleep and you finally have some time. So you tell me that my new happy birthday. And then when they grow up, it might be doing it with your daughter because that's the time you get to spend together. So your granddaughter, your grandson, or whoever. So throughout your life, it can happy crafting can always change. But right now, what is happy crafting to you? Enter to win fifty dollars and come back on Thursday for the winner. See you guys. See you guys.